Hey guys, it's Master George. This is Master Angel. We are going to work on hand steps, hand one steps, numbers 21 to 25. So these are our red belt set, 21 to 23 for red belt, and 24 and 25 for red belt with a stripe. Alright, 21, I'm going to step back with my left leg. It's going to be very similar to the step for 19. I'm going to move up a little bit first. Stepping back, blocking knife hand with the right hand. Stepping back with the left foot. Huh. So block is here. I'm going to step forward, and as my foot moves at the same time, I'm going to push with my palm right at the shoulder to control her body. So I'm stepping in here. I'm going to be nice and close, my leg up against hers. I'm now in a horseback stance. Then I'm going to shift into a front stance, raise my right arm up, and come down with the right elbow right at the base of the neck this way. Let's do that one more time. Number 22, I'm going to step out to the left with my left leg. I'm going to cross my arms and inside outside block with the right hand. And I'm going to follow that arm down. I'm going to kind of scoot underneath of it. I'll walk through it. Hop. So I'm blocking. I'm going to bring this arm down. And I'm going to follow it with my right foot. So as the, as the arm moves, my foot's going to move with it. Here, go under the arm. I have control of it here. Now we're going to do a hammer fist and a side kick at the same time, kind of like in Pyongyang striking this way. Let's do it one more time. Ha! Ha! Number 23 is one of my favorites. We're going to accept the arm, the punch. We're going to trap it. This could be an arm break and a takedown. We want to make sure that we stay very close to our partner to do it properly. Our body does most of the work here, not our arms. My right arm is going to scoop from outside to in. So it's going to pull in this fashion. At the same time, my left arm is going to push this way. So we kind of have this scissoring action going on. So we're here. Coming in close. This is the motion. I'm going to collapse my hands down in this way. Trap her arm, take my right foot, circle around, and drive my hips down to the ground. This way. Let's do that one more time. Ha! Ha! Here. Circle. And take down. <clears throat> ha! Number 24, we're going to step forward into a fighting stance. We're going to do a block and an uppercut, then we're going to shift into a, a front stance for a spear hand low, and then a chop. Hop. So right now I'm in fighting stance, I'm going to shift into front stance for the uh, groin strike, and then when I go for the knife hand chop, turn into horseback stance and chop. One more time. Number 25 is another one of my favorites. We're going to step in, we're blocking, and we're going to throw an elbow strike at the same time. So it's similar to five, but we're going to be in much, much closer. You need to be really careful that we don't pop our partner on this one. So we'll go slow. Hop, coming in, blocking and elbow, same time. Now, I like to grab the arm here, pull it in. Another second elbow strike on the opposite way. We're going to scoop in, trap the head. I always grab my dough back here to trap them in, and then knee strike with the right knee. <clears throat> ha! Ho! One strike, two strikes, scoop in, knee strike to finish with the right leg. So that's one step hands, numbers 21 and 25. Hope you enjoy them. Practice hard. Thumbs up.